Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafor and I hope you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to set up image references inside Blender. So I'm going to be showing you, um, it's quite straightforward, um, but it's an, uh, quite an important thing to know how to set up rightly inside Blender. So that's what we'll be doing today. So this is a nice blueprint which I got from Google. So you can just check, there are a lot of free ones online. We will not be modeling the car, but we'll just be using this as a um, tutorial tool just to show you guys how you can achieve this inside Blender. So I'm using Blender 2.8 and let's start. So first of all, what you want to do is go to Add and search for Add Image Reference. Okay, and now this window will pop up. Then you just go to where you have the blueprint set. So I have this set here. So we can see it's um, adding it um, in the wrong orientation. That's because we were in an awkward view and usually it tends to add it uh, to align with your view. So we can delete this and do that again. So we go to add reference image and we can uncheck this align to view. So we don't have to deal with that again. And it's just going to add this so we can rotate this 90 degrees okay so now basically what we want to do is to just move this into place to roughly match um, the center point of the object so one nice technique which i usually use to make sure it aligns well is to um, do shift s cursor toward origin okay then i'm sure that the cursor is right in the middle then I can just go ahead and add a cube that I will scale in the X axis. So I know it's going to be scaling down um, the right place. And now I can use the cube as a point to really see where it, to make sure that I'm placing this in the right position. Though we might need to move this um, later. So we'll grab it on the X. So it roughly matches the reference and I think we did a pretty good job with this. So uh, let's do the side view because we have a lot of views to set up. So for the side view, we'll duplicate this. So just to keep your scene even neater, we can go ahead and start naming this. We'll call this front view. Okay. So we can duplicate this and call this side view. And we will do shift s selection to cursor so it's going to place this um right now we can actually just delete this cube so if we select this um side view you can see it's placed right in the center of the cube of the world so now we can rotate this z 90 degrees and now what we want to do here is align this with the front view too so we need to flip this so we can just flip this easily by rotating z 180 or you could do this here in this item so you could rotate um, it from here okay so I have this facing the right position so now let's make sure that they both align so for that we'll add another cube okay and scale it up so what we'll be watching out for is this top section Scale, scale Y. So be watching out for this top section here to match the front. So we can move this forward. So as we can see, um, they are both matching, and that means it's working. And the position of this along the Y axis doesn't really matter. So you can position it any way you like. Okay. So something like this. Um, should be nice as you can see and even move it out some more but anyways so this is a um, nice starting point as you can see they both align even not so perfect uh, we can adjust it as needed so that would be the side view as we named it so we can do one more which which is um, the top view so we can duplicate this and call this top view and we can just do alt r alt g alt s to clear everything 
and we can just move this upwards okay and now we want to match the top view to it so we rotate this Z 90 degrees rotate Z 180 to flip it and now we can just align it so one good way for aligning it is we can use this cube again so I will scale it Y to roughly match the length of the vehicle so we're using this to match the top so we have to move this cube upwards to be able to match so selecting the reference so since we know the cube is right at the origin and we can scale this down slightly and we'll grab X So we can match it, we can make it so actually match the right position. Sorry, um, it's kind of raining, um, so I'll just have to hurry, hurry this up. So now we have everything set up, we have the top view set up, we have the side view set up, and we have the front view set up. So what's left is for us to just make it ready for modeling. So for that, uh, we can just select one, we can select the front view first of all and go to the settings. And here we want to set it to front so it's only going to be visible when we come to the front view and we can make that uh, we can even make it stricter by checking on this display only when axis is aligned once you do that we, we can only see it when we go to the front view okay and we'll do the same thing for this we'll set it to um, the front I don't think it has the top view so let's see okay so for this if um, we just set it to the front here so as you can see from any other angle we cannot see it except we go to the top view and then we can click on display all the axis align and we can do this for this too so right set it to um, front so we're in the front view so we need So we go to the side view, bit confusing. Okay. So you might just have to click on this button some um, a couple of times to make sure you get the right ones. But as you can see, we have everything aligning. We have the top view aligning. We have the front view aligning. We have the side view aligning. So one final touch is to select everything and make sure you have an active one selected. Okay, so holding an alt, we want to click on transparency and reduce this transparency to like 0.2 so they all share the same transparency and finally we can select all of this and move this into a new collection where we'll call this um, blueprint and hit OK and here we can um, enable the selection and uncheck that. So now as we move around, we can see we have everything aligned appropriately. So for the final touch, um, like model, when you want to see all this reference at once, you can go to view and go to area and toggle quad view. And now you're going to only be seeing the, um, the one you need. So you'll be seeing the front view here. Um, so we can go ahead and start modeling if set and add the cube place it in the right position we can scale it as you can see it's matching in all the views so we can scale this y to match here so basically um, that's how you can set up your reference image um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'm really happy for all the new subscribers that joined us. Um, you guys are welcome. It should be fun. Um, I release video regularly on this channel. And yeah, so that will be it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, hit that subscribe. So bye-bye for now. See you next time.